Have you ever heard of the saying, read in between the lines? This refers to the voice and tone of a written message. Your voice and tone as a writer is who you are on the page. It is the emotion you are evoking, the intent you are implying, and the message you are conveying in between the lines of your work. Voice and tone are very important to consider when writing and can be conveyed through the words you choose. The words you choose have the power to enhance or confuse your message. For example, let's say you are leaving a note for your roommate to take out the garbage. Your note can take several different tones depending on your intent. Let's take Tessa. She needs to leave her roommate a note to let her know that the garbage is overdue to be taken out and that it's the roommate's responsibility. If she is angry and wants her roommate to be aware of her anger, then this is how she might think through writing the note. Well, I really want her to know this place stinks, so I'll say that it smells like a zoo. She's late taking it out, so I'll be sure to point that out by saying that it was supposed to be done a few days ago. I also want her to know it's not my job, so I'll use the word your turn. The words Tessa chose create a tone that suggests blame and anger. Always consider whether your tone matches your intent. If Tessa is a bit annoyed but would rather take a business-like but friendly approach to reminding her roommate, she might think through writing the note like this. Even though I am a bit irritated about the trash, I think I will try to write a friendly reminder for my roommate. I'll start with Dear Rumi, so it sounds friendly. Then I'll point out that the trash is a bit late, and I'll use please to ensure she knows that I will really appreciate if she addresses the trash situation. There. Let me now just reread this to ensure that we'll keep the peace but also resolve the situation in a friendly way. By considering a few word choices carefully, Tessa was able to achieve the desired tone. While both notes got the message across, the tones were very different. It is important to think about the voice and tone you are using in your writing so you are communicating in the way you intend. You have the power to choose your words, which in turn creates the tone and voice of your writing. Tessa considered tone in her writing by thinking about what she wanted to say and focusing on the words that would create her intended message. Remember, the words you choose impact the tone of your writing.